In this video, we will explore the top 25 interview questions commonly asked by IBM recruiters. These questions encompass various topics, from technical skills to behavioral inquiries, providing a comprehensive guide for aspiring candidates. We will also provide detailed answers and tips to help you prepare effectively. By understanding these questions, you can enhance your confidence and improve your chances of success in the IBM interview process. 1. Tell me about yourself and your background. I am a passionate software engineer with a strong foundation in computer science and over five years of experience in developing innovative solutions. I graduated with a degree in computer science, where I honed my skills in programming and problem solving. My career has allowed me to work on diverse projects, from web applications to cloud-based solutions. I thrive in collaborative environments and enjoy tackling challenges that require creative thinking. Outside of work, I actively participate in tech meetups and online courses to expand my knowledge and stay current with industry trends. 2. Why do you want to work for IBM? I am drawn to IBM due to its commitment to innovation and its leadership in technology solutions that shape the future. The company's emphasis on artificial intelligence, cloud computing, and blockchain resonates with my career aspirations and aligns with my technical background. Working at IBM offers the opportunity to collaborate with talented professionals and contribute to projects that have a global impact. Additionally, IBM's dedication to diversity and inclusion creates an environment where all voices are valued, fostering creativity and driving progress in technology. 3. What do you know about IBM's current products and services? IBM offers a wide range of products and services across various domains. Its cloud solutions provide tools for businesses to build, manage, and scale applications. IBM Watson is renowned for its advanced AI capabilities, enabling data analysis and natural language processing. Additionally, IBM's quantum computing initiatives are pioneering in the tech industry, aiming to solve complex problems beyond classical computing limits. IBM also focuses on cybersecurity, offering solutions that protect businesses against threats. Their commitment to sustainability and innovation is evident in their recent initiatives, aiming to drive digital transformation across industries. 4. How do your skills and experience align with this role at IBM? My expertise in software development and cloud computing aligns seamlessly with the requirements of this role at IBM. I have extensive experience in programming languages like Python and Java, which I have applied in developing scalable applications. My familiarity with agile methodologies ensures I can adapt quickly and effectively within dynamic teams. Additionally, my problem-solving skills were honed through tackling complex technical challenges in previous projects. I am eager to leverage my technical skills and collaborative mindset to contribute positively to IBM's innovative initiatives. 5. Describe a time when you had to solve a complex technical problem. What was your approach? In a recent project, I encountered a significant issue with data synchronization between two systems. The challenge was that data discrepancies led to inconsistencies in reporting. I started by gathering a cross-functional team to analyze the problem. We mapped out the data flow and identified potential bottlenecks. I then devised a solution that involved creating a middleware API to handle real-time data updates. After implementing the solution, I conducted thorough testing to ensure accuracy. This approach not only resolved the issue but also improved the overall efficiency of data processing. 6. How do you stay updated on the latest technological trends and advancements? Staying updated on the latest technological trends involves a multifaceted approach. I regularly read industry blogs, subscribe to tech newsletters, and follow influential thought leaders on social media platforms. Attending webinars, conferences, and workshops also provides insights into emerging technologies. Additionally, I engage with online communities and forums where professionals discuss innovations. I often dedicate time each week to experiment with new tools and technologies, allowing me to gain hands-on experience and understand their practical applications. This proactive approach ensures that I remain informed and relevant in my field. 7. Tell me about a project you worked on that you're particularly proud of. One project I'm particularly proud of involved developing a machine learning model to optimize supply chain logistics for a mid-sized manufacturing company. I led a cross-functional team to analyze historical data, identify inefficiencies, and design a predictive model that forecasted demand more accurately. This not only reduced costs by 15% but also improved delivery times significantly. Collaborating with different departments, I facilitated communication and gathered insights that enriched the model's effectiveness. Seeing tangible results and how it positively impacted the company's operations was incredibly rewarding. 8. How do you handle working under pressure or tight deadlines? When faced with pressure or tight deadlines, I prioritize and break down tasks into manageable steps. This helps me focus on one task at a time while ensuring progress toward the larger goal. I maintain open communication with my team, discussing any potential bottlenecks and collaborating on solutions. Time management is crucial, so I use tools like calendars and task lists to keep track of responsibilities. Staying calm and composed enables me to think critically, 
make informed decisions, and deliver quality work even in challenging situations. 9. Describe your experience with cloud computing technologies. My experience with cloud computing technologies spans several platforms, including AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud. I've worked on deploying scalable applications using cloud services, such as EC2 and Lambda for AWS. I also have experience in managing cloud resources through infrastructure as code, IAC, tools like Terraform. In a recent project, I migrated a legacy application to a cloud environment, enhancing its performance and availability. This involved configuring load balancers, setting up virtual networks, and implementing security best practices to protect sensitive data. 10. How would you explain a complex technical concept to a non-technical audience? To explain a complex technical concept to a non-technical audience, I would first identify the key points that matter most to them. I would use simple language and everyday analogies that relate to their experiences. For example, if discussing cloud computing, I might compare it to storing personal belongings in a storage unit rather than at home. Visual aids like diagrams or charts can also be useful to illustrate concepts clearly. Encouraging questions helps ensure understanding and allows me to adjust my explanations to meet their needs. 11. What programming languages are you proficient in, and how have you applied them in your work? I am proficient in several programming languages, including Python, Java, and JavaScript. In my previous role, I utilized Python extensively for data analysis and automation tasks, creating scripts that streamlined our workflow. Java was my primary language for developing backend services, where I implemented RESTful APIs to enhance system communication. Additionally, I used JavaScript to build interactive front-end components for web applications, ensuring a seamless user experience. Each language has empowered me to tackle various challenges effectively and contribute to successful project outcomes. 12. How do you approach learning new technologies or tools? Learning new technologies is a systematic process for me. I typically start by identifying the resources available, such as online courses, tutorials, or documentation relevant to the technology. I then create a structured plan that includes hands-on practice, which helps solidify my understanding. Engaging in community forums and collaborating with peers also enhances my learning experience. I always aim to implement what I've learned in real projects, allowing me to gain practical experience and troubleshoot challenges effectively. This approach ensures that I stay current and adaptable in a rapidly evolving tech landscape. 13. Describe a situation where you had to work as part of a team to achieve a goal. In my previous role, I was part of a cross-functional team tasked with launching a new software product. Each member brought unique skills, from development to marketing. We held regular meetings to discuss progress and challenges, which fostered open communication. My responsibility was to coordinate between the developers and the marketing team, ensuring that both sides were aligned on timelines and goals. Through collaboration, we successfully launched the product on schedule, exceeding initial targets and receiving positive feedback from users. This experience highlighted the importance of teamwork in achieving shared objectives. 14. How do you ensure the quality and security of your code? Ensuring the quality and security of my code involves several best practices. First, I adhere to coding standards and guidelines, which helps maintain consistency and readability. I perform thorough code reviews with peers, allowing for constructive feedback and knowledge sharing. Automated testing, including unit tests and integration tests, is essential to catch issues early. To address security concerns, I regularly update dependencies, use static analysis tools, and stay informed about vulnerabilities in libraries I utilize. Continuous integration and deployment practices further enhance the reliability of my code. 15. What experience do you have with Agile development methodologies? My experience with Agile development methodologies includes working in cross-functional teams where we utilized Scrum and Kanban frameworks. In my previous role, I participated in daily stand-ups, sprint planning, and retrospectives, which allowed us to adapt quickly to changing requirements. I contributed to breaking down features into manageable user stories and prioritized the backlog effectively. This approach enhanced collaboration, increased transparency, and improved delivery timelines, ultimately leading to successful project outcomes and higher team morale. I appreciate Agile's emphasis on continuous improvement and customer feedback. 16. How do you handle disagreements with team members or stakeholders? Handling disagreements involves open communication and active listening. I strive to understand differing perspectives and seek common ground. When conflicts arise, I initiate a respectful dialogue where each party can express their views. I focus on the issue at hand rather than personal feelings to maintain a professional environment. It's crucial to find a resolution that aligns with project goals. If necessary, I involve a neutral third party to mediate. Ultimately, collaboration and compromise are key to resolving differences effectively, ensuring that the team remains cohesive and productive. 17. Describe your experience with data analysis and visualization tools. I have extensive experience with data analysis and visualization tools such as Python's Pandas and Matplotlib, as well as Tableau. 
In my previous role, I utilized these tools to analyze large datasets, uncover trends, and present findings to stakeholders. For instance, I worked on a project where I aggregated sales data, applied statistical methods to identify key performance indicators, and created interactive dashboards in Tableau. This allowed the team to make data-driven decisions that improved sales strategies and operational efficiency. My ability to translate complex data into actionable insights has been a key asset in my work. 18. How would you contribute to IBM's culture of innovation? I would contribute to IBM's culture of innovation by fostering a collaborative environment where diverse ideas can thrive. By engaging with cross-functional teams, I can share insights from my experiences in various projects and encourage brainstorming sessions. Actively participating in hackathons and innovation challenges would allow me to explore new technologies and solutions. I believe in continuous learning, so I would advocate for knowledge-sharing initiatives and mentoring programs, empowering colleagues to think creatively and embrace new methodologies. This approach aligns with IBM's commitment to pushing boundaries and driving technological advancements. 19. Tell me about a time when you had to adapt to a significant change in your work environment. Adapting to change is crucial in any tech role. At my previous job, we transitioned to a remote work model due to unexpected circumstances. Initially, I struggled with communication and collaboration tools, which affected team dynamics. To adapt, I took the initiative to organize virtual team building sessions and set up regular check-ins to maintain engagement. I also proactively sought out online resources and tutorials to enhance my skills with the new tools. This experience not only improved my adaptability but also strengthened our team's cohesion during a challenging period. 20. What do you think are the biggest challenges facing the tech industry today? The tech industry faces numerous challenges, including cybersecurity threats, data privacy issues, and the rapid pace of technological change. As more devices become interconnected, ensuring the security of systems and data is paramount. Additionally, regulatory compliance surrounding data protection is increasingly complex. Another challenge is the ongoing skills gap. Organizations struggle to find talent with the necessary technical expertise. Balancing innovation with ethical considerations, particularly in areas like AI, is crucial as well. These challenges require adaptive strategies and continuous learning to navigate successfully. 21. How do you prioritize tasks when working on multiple projects simultaneously? When managing multiple projects, I first assess the urgency and importance of each task. I utilize a prioritization matrix to categorize tasks based on deadlines and impact. This helps me identify high-priority items that align with project goals. I also break down larger tasks into smaller, manageable steps, allowing for more efficient progress tracking. Regular check-ins with team members ensure alignment and adaptation to any changes. Lastly, I allocate specific time blocks for focused work on each project, minimizing distractions and maintaining productivity. 22. Describe your experience with artificial intelligence or machine learning technologies. AI and machine learning have been integral parts of my recent projects. I have worked on developing predictive models using Python libraries such as TensorFlow and Scikit-Learn. One project involved analyzing customer behavior data, where I implemented machine learning algorithms to improve recommendation systems. I have also collaborated with cross-functional teams to deploy AI solutions in real-time applications. Staying current with industry trends, I regularly participate in workshops and online courses, enabling me to leverage emerging technologies effectively in my work. 23. How do you approach troubleshooting and debugging complex systems? When troubleshooting and debugging complex systems, I start by gathering as much information as possible about the issue. I analyze logs and gather input from users to understand the symptoms. Next, I isolate components to identify the root cause, often using systematic methods like the scientific method or divide and conquer strategies. Testing potential fixes in a controlled environment ensures that changes won't introduce new problems. I also document my findings and solutions for future reference, fostering a culture of knowledge sharing within the team. This structured approach minimizes downtime and enhances system reliability. 24. What do you think sets IBM apart from its competitors? IBM's commitment to innovation, research, and development distinguishes it in the tech landscape. The company has a rich history of pioneering advancements in fields like artificial intelligence, cloud computing, and quantum computing. IBM's focus on enterprise solutions and its ability to integrate cutting-edge technologies into practical applications for businesses is impressive. Additionally, IBM's dedication to corporate responsibility, sustainability, and ethical AI practices reflects a forward-thinking ethos that resonates with clients and employees alike, fostering long-term relationships built on trust and integrity. 25. Do you have any questions for us about IBM or the role? Yes, I do have a few questions. Could you elaborate on the team's current projects and how this role contributes to them? I'm also interested in understanding the opportunities for professional development within IBM. Lastly, how does IBM foster innovation and collaboration among its teams, 
and what are the key metrics for success in this position. These insights would help me understand how I can align my skills and experience with the team's goals and IBM's broader mission. In exploring the top 25 IBM interview questions and answers, we've equipped you with valuable insights to enhance your preparation. Understanding these key topics can greatly improve your confidence and performance during the interview process. Remember, thorough preparation is essential to stand out among candidates. If you found this information helpful, please like the video and subscribe to our channel for more tips and resources to aid your job search journey. Best of luck with your upcoming interviews.